if we like adding flax seeds in the morning to our smoothies, are we losing any of the beneficial nutrients that we get from flax seeds by blending it? Not at all. So uh, this is one of those myths that's going around, um, not just with flax seeds, but with like fruit in general, that if you blend it in a smoothie that you're destroying the nutrients. Um, there is no, there is no blender that is high enough power to like break up the molecules that are the nutrients in our foods. So, uh, and in fact, there's some really interesting science showing that uh, smoothies compared to eating the whole fruit for some fruit can actually slow down the blood sugar response. Um, and then for some fruit, it can speed it up. So it kind of, it seems to be really dependent overall. That's, that's not a big effect. If you're adding some protein, some fat, like some nut butter or some um, like 2% or full fat yogurt to your smoothie, that changes the blood sugar response. So don't worry about the blood sugar response from smoothies. People telling you not to have smoothies because of insulin, something, blah, 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 blah. That's not, that's not where the science is at. And also that's when they test those in scientific studies, they're testing very specifically like pureed fruit, not complete smoothies. So uh, flaxseed, you're still getting all of the same nutrients if you have ground flax versus whole flax. And that's basically what happens if you put flax seeds into a blender, it's turning it into, some of it will be ground flax, not all of it. Uh, if you're putting whole flax seeds in, if you're putting ground flax in, you might get some slightly smaller pieces. Um, all of that is going to, that doesn't destroy any nutrients. All of that's going to be digested pretty much the same. It's a little bit like pre-chewed, right? It's like you chewed it really, really well. So actually your digestive enzymes might be able to get in there a little bit better, but uh, yeah, all, overall, all of the nutrients that you're blending into your smoothie are all going to be well-maintained. Where we lose nutrients is in juicing. So like vegetable juices, fruit juices, that's where we're losing you know, 25 to sometimes as much as like 50% of the nutrients, depending on the food and the, and the juicing process. But if, when you just throw everything into a blender and you are just eating everything that was in that blender, yeah, you're getting all the same nutrients. They're not going anywhere.